Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. What are some skills, traits, or interests that you have that make you unique? Today we'll be learning more about God's holiness, the thing about God that makes him different from everything and everyone else. But first, let's try an activity. I want you to pretend to be my mirror, so you will copy my movements exactly. I'll move slow so that you can try to do it at exactly the same time. Are you ready? Let's go. How'd you do? When you stand in front of a mirror, it reflects back exactly what you look like. Today we will talk about the ways God is holy and how we can reflect God's holiness into the world. We aren't perfect mirrors of God, but we can show the world what he is like. As we work our way through the one big story of scripture, it helps to use big picture questions and answers. They can guide our focus so that we can see true teachings God wants us to know and believe. We call these teachings doctrine. For the last few weeks, we have been focusing on the doctrine of God's holiness. Can you remember the big picture question and answer that we've used? What is God like? God is holy, good, and loving. It's impossible to completely explain exactly what God is like because God is infinite and unending. We cannot fully understand God, so we also cannot fully explain him. Even so, it's important to know that God is holy set apart and different from everything and everyone else. Good, righteous and just in all his thoughts and actions, and loving, patient, kind, merciful, and gracious to us, even though that we do not deserve it. All right, let's watch today's video. Peter, a follower of Jesus, wrote a letter to Christians. He reminded them of what God had done for them. When a person believes God's good news about Jesus, it changes the way he or she lives. Peter's letter encouraged Christians to live like Jesus. Peter told God's people that they should be holy. Believers have hope because Jesus will come again. Peter wrote, before you trusted in Jesus, you lived however you wanted and did evil things. Jesus gave his life to save you so that you could have true life in him. Jesus is like the perfect lamb that God's people sacrificed. Peter wrote, Now you are God's children, so don't go back to how you used to live. Obey God. He has a better life for you. Peter reminded believers of God's words to the Israelites. God had said, Be holy, because I am holy. What does it mean to be holy? Being holy means being set apart. It means being different from everyone else. As creator, God is different from all of his creation. God calls us to be different too. He wants us to be like him, including in the way that we love one another. Before, we cared only about ourselves. We fought and complained. But God is loving, so he wants us to love one another instead. Loving one another isn't always easy, but it is good. Peter wrote, our life on earth will not last forever. It is like the grass and flowers that fade away. Long ago, the Israelites were waiting for God to keep his good promise to send a rescuer to save people from their sins. Today, we remember that God kept his good promise by sending Jesus. We can be holy because of our hope in Jesus. No one is like God. God is holy, good, and loving. Jesus shows us what God is like and gives us hope. 
God can make us more like Jesus. We can trust him and live joyfully for him. It may be a little difficult to wrap your mind around what the word holy means. Really, the word holy means set apart. When something is set apart to be dedicated to God's glory, it is holy. God exists above and beyond the limitations of creation because he is the creator. He is holy because he is set apart from creation for his own glory. God is also good. He will destroy sin and bring justice. That means that all of us, because we are sinners, deserve death. Only God's loving choice to send Jesus to die on the cross and rise again could make a way for us to be with God forever. After we have faith, we do not go on living as a sinner who doesn't know how Jesus would live. We begin to live more like Jesus instead. Have you ever spent a lot of time with a friend or family member only to realize that you're starting to act a little bit more like that person? Maybe your friend has a kind of catchphrase she always says when she's excited, or you, and you start staying it too. Or maybe your brother always makes a specific face when he smells something really stinky, and you start making the same face. In some ways, this can help us think about what Peter was explaining to believers. People who put their faith in Jesus are filled with Holy Spirit. He lives with us and helps us understand God and obey him. Over time, Christians will grow to be more and more like Jesus. This is called sanctification. The Bible teaches us that Jesus perfectly shows us what God is like because he is God's son. That means that when we are more like Jesus, we are more like God. What is God like? God is holy, good, and loving. No one is like God. Jesus shows us what God is like and gives us hope. God can make us more like Jesus and we can trust him and live joyfully for him. All right, now let's watch questions from kids. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Victor from El Paso, Texas asks, Can we really be holy like God? That's a great question, Victor. Well, God is in a category all by himself. One of the attributes or one of the character traits that sets God apart from all humankind is the fact that he is holy. So we can't be exactly like God, but he does tell us in the Holy Scripture, in 1 Peter, that to be holy because God is holy. And holy is to be set apart. And so what God is requiring for us to do is to be set apart in our actions, to be set apart in the things that we think, to be set apart in the things that we do, to be set apart in the things that we say. You see, God requires for us to be different around our friends, around our family. He wants us to be set apart. We are God's possession. We belong to him. You see, Jesus Christ, his son, gave us the greatest example on how to engage and how to live and how to engage other people. He showed us how to treat strangers in the scripture. God showed us, even through his son, Jesus Christ, even how to respond to our enemies. God showed us in the scripture through his son, Jesus Christ, on how to treat widows and how to treat orphans and how to share the gospel. He gives us a great example on how to be holy. So if we read the scripture, we read of Jesus Christ, we read of ways to be holy. It's a requirement for Christians to live a life that is holy unto God. We ought to strive every single day to be just like Jesus. So I want you to think about how does knowing Jesus change the way you live? How might others recognize if you are a Christian? Can we really be holy like God? How does knowing Jesus change the way you live? Let's look up our key passage one last time. It's Exodus 15, 11. Go get your Bibles. We're gonna start in the table of contents and Exodus is the second book in the Old Testament and it is on page 64. So 
we're going to flip over there. There's Exodus. And we want chapter 15. So we're going to look at the big numbers. There's 1 and 2. Let's flip over till we get to 15. There's 8. There's 11. There's 14. We're almost there. There's 15 right there. And then we need verse 11. So we're going to look at the tiny little numbers underneath there. Verse 11 is right here at the very bottom of this page. Who among the gods is like you, O Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? What is God like? God is holy, good, and loving. There is nothing and no one in creation like God. When we trust in Jesus, God helps us live more like him each day. Would you pray with me? God, we know that you are unlike anything and anyone else. You are perfect in every way. You are holy, good, and loving. Help us to live like you and to love you more fully each day. Amen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.